what's up? My name's Kamal. Uh, been kind of sick. That's why it's been a little while since we put out the next video in this series. So today we're basically just going to take off the front bumper and check the damage underneath here. If you uh, want to check the other videos, which the other video was us removing the whole exhaust system and the one before that was just going over all the damage. Um, if you go to my channel, I have a playlist. It's just called Save the Cayenne, Project Save the Cayenne, and you can see all the videos there. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so. It uh, helps me out and I appreciate it. So yeah, the only thing, uh, the hood was down. And then when we, uh, when my dad got back from the accident, I did pop it open and opened it up just to see if there was any damage or anything really under there. There's surprisingly no leaks from the radiator, even though this damage does go pretty far in. But I did notice that uh, when the hood closes, it does the first latch, but it no longer does the second latch. Um, and when you look at the, this doesn't look damaged at all, but uh, this kind of looks like it was pushed back. It's kind of angled this way now. So uh, yeah, we'll see uh, what's going on underneath here. The first thing we'll do is probably just pop the headlights out. And I think uh, we just have to take these out. And even this, is, you can kind of see, is not really where it's supposed to be. But uh, I think there's just some screws under here, some screws underneath these screws up top and then obviously we'll probably have some electrical connections so yeah we're just gonna get right into it and uh, take the front bumper off and see what's going on under there so we're coming back here because uh, underneath here is actually the tool to get the headlights out it's this one right here this tool right here so to get the headlights out uh, I already took this out, but if you did have this here, you can just pop this piece out. It even has a headlight symbol on it. And once you remove that down there, that you can kind of see the silver part right here. You just put that tool on there and then you turn it uh, counterclockwise. This part? Oh uh, yeah, this, this thing goes on it. This one? Yeah. And if you actually don't have that tool, um, you can just use a socket. Ooh. So yeah, I wonder if these are actually gonna be like kinda jammed in here. Oh, there it goes. So you just turn it counterclockwise and the headlight pops out. Yeah, that's it. The headlights are actually surprisingly easy to get out. You can see the tool is on that piece there and it just moves this mechanism and then the connections right there it actually just slides in on its own it's a heavy headlight see this one i think you actually go the opposite way so this one you go clockwise oh. cool sorry i'm getting in your way <laughs> it looks like it looks like to get these reflectors off there's just a, a screw right there and I think that should actually allow us to take the reflectors out and then there's one more screw up here so we're gonna take those out on both sides and uh, there might be some more I know there's the electrical connection going to the uh, something over here I guess I guess these might actually oh yeah these do light up Does it move at all, or does no. it think there's something else? I feel like there's something else. Oh, wait a minute. There's one up top over here. And there's a little I can see there's actually a second screw up top that I think holds on the uh, reflector. See it up there? sure you can uh, pull that off because it's in order to replace the bulb you know 
It's got to come off somehow. There you go. It just pulls right out. It just pulls out. Hmm. Cool. So we just got the reflector out on this side. We just had uh, the one screw at the bottom, the one at the top. And now Miranda is going to remove this connector on this side, which it looks like it just uh, presses in there. Just pop that off, and then we can also see like the washer hose going to the, um, the sprayers that go for the headlights. And then the only other bolt we were going to remove is the one up here, just uh, which I guess kind of holds the bumper on in this area. I'm sure there's like other stuff that's going to be uh, holding it on. Well, we can just start taking the rest of the stuff off. Up here, I think there's also this T30. Yeah. So now we'll just take these T30 bolts. Looks like there's just uh, four up here. And then as far as underneath the front, there are uh, these bolts that are on here, but as you can see from the collision, the bumper pretty much just ripped off all those bolts that are supposed to hold it on in the bottom here so if you are doing this just know that you do have to take off some more it looks like t t30 uh bolts down here we'll probably just take them out for the heck of it but uh looks like this should come off without having to do anything really there's actually one up there that we didn't see at first so I think that's the one that's actually holding this on on each side and then it should be just things that kind of slide into place so we're going to move those two that kind of you have to get straight up on either side and then we should be good. I took those bolts out on the bottom even though they weren't even holding the bumper anymore and then the other thing we noticed is like in between these screws there are like these little plugs that I think we had just have to pop out. Just one on each side. Thank you. Yeah, it's kind of like even angled like backwards. Just kind of hidden in there. Yeah, now that's the one, I guess, because now this is loose. got everything it's just now <laughs> it's just it. the um <laughs> the electrical connections and yeah so we showed you all those screws on each side got these things out which were a pain all right, we'll get this on. <laughs> oh my god look at all the pieces fall off Oh man. <laughs> See, yeah. shattered up under there. Yeah, this is you can see how the brace right here is like Wow. You got really lucky with it not 
puncturing this. He's like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Alright, well, do you have any, uh, oh, so the hose for the washer is, like, connected on the other side, just on the left side. shattered under here mm -hmm. so this bolt I think does go to this uh, brace here yeah, see this brace I think is what it's attached to this yeah. and that's why that got bent So we just had zip ties. One was here as well. I mean, we know we're not going to use this bumper again, so we might as well get these uh, electrical connections out. Yeah, this is just like, has all these little clips, clips onto. So the, the one connection on this side, this connection is really just for the fog lights. It just connects there, and then you have the connection on each side for the fogs. There's really not a lot we can reuse. Even the, uh, the bash bar. Is kinda, I don't know, I mean, it might kind of be shaped like that, but you can see that it definitely... It definitely got scraped. It looks like gooey stuff. That actually might be where the um, like foam pieces yeah, these, were attached. These things, foams, yeah. like were good on there. Yeah, I don't know. This doesn't. I feel like this might be like the shape of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that might be okay. Okay. But like, yeah, all of these like ducks in here. They're shattered. They like the radiator and stuff got smashed. These pieces here looks like they're just like small T30s that hold it on. And then these uh like little funnels here, that's where the uh I think that just goes to your airbox actually. Oh my goodness. <laughs> More pieces. Uh, rock. <laughs> See, I don't know if this piece is like replaceable or if this is actually. Well, there's like there's some bolts up here. 
Um, check it out. There's some holes right here that go. Oh, yeah, there are the bolts up in there. Okay, the, like, good. See how this goes to the. Yeah. Yeah, see, these are the same as the one that was on the bottom here. from this way. So we need to figure out This is just like these ball pieces just snap into place. Right here. Yeah, it was this, this one. Hole. Yeah. Okay. And then I guess this is like that this connector. That's what lets you know that the hood is closed because I remember when we were driving over here it kept beeping at us. Yeah. Because it didn't do that second latch. Well, I mean this thing's pretty stripped down now. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Like, this looks fine, actually. Like, the way it's bent like that, perfectly on both sides. Yeah. Like, because the damage was right above it. So this itself, I think, we don't need to replace. But see, this does have... Uh, this does actually bolt to this. We really do only need this piece, but... We're gonna take this out of the other one. Might as well take the whole thing. Mm -hmm. We'll just choose which one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yummy. Well, uh, just finished cleaning up the front bumper. Um, first thing I did was I just took my shop back and vacuumed leaves that were stuck like under here. And actually, I just ran the vacuum all along the fins of the radiator. I guess this might be for the AC condenser. But, uh, yeah, just got all that crap out. And then that sticky stuff that was on here for the, um, the foam pieces that I guess stick to it, just scraped that off and then used spray clean to get the rest of it off. This actually cleaned up way nicer than I thought it would. And now you can actually see that there's not really any damage to it and then just wiped all the red paint a lot of that red paint was from uh because we had sanded the hood before we did this copper vinyl wrap because we uh basically why we did that is because the whole hood was starting to peel like this but uh yeah just cleaned all that up basically got rid of all the damaged plastic pieces the only thing i did notice that's still kind of damaged. There is actually a crack right here. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's definitely cracked and it's kind of cracked over here too, but nothing's like loose. And honestly, that that's like part of this whole piece is one assembly. I mean, I'm not gonna worry about replacing that. Um, and then actually for the, uh, like the headlight washer thing just took that hose off just cut that thing i literally couldn't pull the hose out so i just cut it right here um honestly i don't even think we're gonna 
worry about that when going back together. And that's the other thing, even all the uh, like plastic duct pieces that screw into here. When we go, we're gonna try to find one in a salvage yard and then basically take the front bumper. Hopefully it'll have fog lights and everything. Um, when we get that off, I guess we'll see what it actually looks like under here. Uh, I'm sure I can look up pictures and see what it looks like now. But the main thing I'm worried about getting is uh, this piece with the hood latch mechanism because this got bent pretty bad. Um, so mainly just worried about that, the front bumper. But yeah, this, luckily uh, this isn't damaged. I mean, even if, I don't know how hard this is to take off, but uh, luckily we're able to keep this because the damage was like right above it. But yeah, I guess that's all we're gonna do today. Now we kind of have an idea of what we need for the front end and then uh, Either next weekend or week, the weekend after that, we'll uh, turn this thing around and take apart all the the trunk and the rear bumper, the trailer hitch, take all that off and see what we need back there. So thanks for watching. Hope this was informative for anybody that was interested. And I mean, hopefully nobody gets in an accident. But that's the thing is like, if you do, your insurance isn't going to most likely isn't gonna fix it because these cars are valued so low, but it's been fun. This was a lot easier than all the exhaust stuff we did, to be honest. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps, helps us out a lot and we appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys and girls next time. Peace.